What up guys? Uh, welcome to your 26th tutorial. Finally, uh, some of you guys have been waiting for this. I'm sorry I've been crazy busy this week. But uh, thanks again for watching and subscribing. Um, give me thumbs up and comments, all that great stuff. Uh, today we're just going to kind of finish up this tutorial for. Uh, it might be two videos. I'm not positive uh, how long this is going to take. But uh, first, open up your tutorial for Java. And uh, just go down to where we set up our buttons. Set up a play button and a stop button. Uh, so we're just going to set up our play button to do something else besides just a click listener. Um, we're going to do a long click listener, so when you hold down the button, it'll save pretty much the song to the phone. And I couldn't show you an example of this before the tutorial, I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a preview because the emulator doesn't really have a directory where we where I set this one up to save. So uh, basically we're going to say um, our button play dot set um, on, on long click listener right down here and just as before just as we'd set up like you know one of these uh, like like regular click listener we're gonna need to say new view dot on long click listener and here's our on long click uh, so we're just gonna set up some stuff in here and we're also gonna close off our little statement there and what we want to do is we want to get an input stream and then th basically that's what we want to take in and then we're going to have to use an output stream to save that uh, data to the phone so we're going to need both the input stream and the output stream but we also need a file path and a uh, pretty much creating a new file so first we're going to set up that path and that file that we want to create and first we're going to set up the path where we want the file to go and so it's going to be a file uh, type variable and we're just going to call it path because that's what we want to do you got to import the file as always and we're going to use the environment of the phone and so we're just going to type in environment it's spelled correctly and then we got all these choices once you hit the dot and we're going to say get uh, there's plenty of places as you can see where you can store these um, some are like in for like apps that you don't want the user to be able to use files but you want to like save your files to their phone you can do that but we want these um, these music files that the user can use so we're gonna say get external storage uh, public directory and this is gonna save it to the SD card of the person's phone and when you guys are messing around with this like I said uh, the emulator I don't know, I couldn't get it to work. But uh, when you use your actual phone, it'll work. But you got to make sure you um, unplug your phone when you're like testing this out because otherwise the SD card won't be available and it won't find it. So you'll be like, hey man, this doesn't even work. Give me, you know, give me false hope here. But uh, yeah, it will work. Um, and again, we're just going to set up simply. We aren't going to do any error checking. Um, and also, um, well, I'll get to that when we when we get there here. But uh, in these parentheses, we also want to use an environment, and we're going to say dot, uh, and we should have all these. Why not? Did I not spell that right? Environment, such a hard word to spell. Come on, what's wrong with me? All right, so we have all these directories, and these are basically the default directories. So we have directory music. Um, picture directory and these are just the standard ones um, again these might not work for all of them so like if you use one of these and this little tutorial isn't working for you most likely you don't have that standard directory and for some reason I didn't have the music directory so I'm just going to use one that I know I have and it's the download directory so basically it's directories uh, underscore downloads and again, once you type in environment dot, it'll just uh, you know set that up for you. So we're gonna close off our statement here. And again, this is just the path where we want to get our uh, file to be saved. So now we have to actually set up that file. And to do that, we're gonna say again, it's gonna be a file variable, and we're gonna call this one file because this is the actual file that we're gonna save to the phone. 
And what we want in its parameters, it, or what we want to set it up as, is new file, capital F. And let's see if it gives us some parameters. Yeah, see, we have a file, um, or it takes a file, which is we're going to use our path for the file. And then it also takes a string. And this is what we want to label our file as on the phone. So we're going to say uh, the first variable is, takes a file and we're going to say path. So that's this variable that we just set up. And then we're going to say uh, we want to save the song as uh, we're going to call it Cornboy Song. And then you can also add um, if you want to add like a variable. So like, you know, you, we have four different songs, so every time it's going to save a different song, but it's just going to overwrite this file if we have it like that. So we're going to say, again, uh, that other variable we set, uh, we set up called what song. And that's a switch case. And then you want to, um, and you have to use plus signs when you use like a variable like that. Is it what song? i got to check that real quick. Yeah. See, again, this is just like uh, the 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, and that just determines what song we selected with our radio buttons. So it's going to say Cornboy Song 1, and then we just want to end it with .mp3. Again, to use those variables, you use, just use the plus signs, and then we're just going to finish off our statement. And there you go. Uh, now it's going to say Cornboy's Song 1 dot mp3 so that's pretty cool um, nothing too awesome there but uh, yeah that's what it's gonna set it up as and then what we want to do sorry guys I'm pretty tired here but now we got to uh, use this file just like always uh, when it gives us that yellow squiggly line but every time we mess with it or every time we do pretty um, something like sketchy we want to use that try and the catch exceptions because basically we have to and it's just good uh, programming. So we're going to say try and um, try I'm just trying to figure out how I want to explain this here. 